on a power spec tractor, so whether that be a 200 series, 300 series or the 500 series, is we just have this 10 inch dashboard that uh, we have in front of the uh, in front of the steering wheel and it's in this dashboard then where we do all our uh, all our settings so we'll just have a quick look through what we have in this uh, this dashboard control screen so down the uh, down the bottom here is we can see some uh, some little dots which represent what page i'm on and how i navigate around this screen is i use my uh, my main rotary dial and so I can notch it from uh, from side to side, and I can go through various uh, various page menus. So if we have a look at what we've uh, what we've got, so we have our uh, we have our overview page. And then we come into where we can look at uh, spool valve settings. So in here, then, is we can alter, you know, flows uh, and uh, and timers with these uh, with these spool valves. I have my uh, my engine transmission uh, settings here, so I can uh, set cruise control speeds, engine presets memo speeds look at tms and look at the uh, the uh, transmission settings i've got my uh, my rear linkage control on this tractor but it also if i have my front linkage i'd have a front linkage control page as uh, as well i can change the uh, the armrest assignments as well with this uh, with this screen so i can move buttons around the around the screen or around the armrest we've got our suspension because we've got a front loader on this tractor, then is I can uh, I can look at my loader settings. I've got my uh, my just my performance monitor there, so I can look at uh, setting a uh, an implement working width there to see how many uh, liters per hectare or liters an hour or uh, uh, that we've done there. I can run onboard counters as well, so I can run up to ten counters, and again as I can put in a uh, an implement width there, working width, and then get all my areas uh, clocked up as uh, as well. We've got our uh, our general setup. So here, then we can alter uh, date and time. I can also create a a profile. I can also store then a a work profile as uh, as well. So if I have moved stuff around on my armrest or uh, I've uh, altered uh, flows, times on the spool valves or anything else, is I can capture that into uh, into a work profile. We've got then our uh, our, our uh, service diagnostics. Uh, in here as well, work light profiles, air conditioning, and back to the uh, back to the main screen. Now, as I don't have to uh, click all the way through that to find the page, is I can use my uh, my quick jump button uh, on by the rotary dial, and again that brings up my uh, my launch pad. So up the top here, then as we can see, we've got uh, our tractor settings, we've got uh, spool valves, engine transmission. Here then would be uh, rear linkage and PTO, armrest assignments, and then we've got suspension, loader, fuel consumption calculator, onboard job computers. Here then would be the uh, system settings, work profiles, service diagnostics, work light profiles, and uh, an air conditioning on this, uh, on this particular tractor.